My name is Art Grenier from Clayton, New Mexico, which is Union County. I started a renewable energy business oh, about a year ago. Um, I got into the green thing a long time ago, about six years ago. I installed the first one kilowatt system at my dad's, an off-grid system. It worked great. The community liked it. People have been pushing towards this kind of stuff in our area. We're losing a lot of jobs in our area. Our community is shrinking. I have a barbershop right on Main Street. I'm watching things change, and it's not good. So um, I think the energy way, green energy and green jobs, is really the key to surviving right now. I've seen a lot of the old technologies just kind of come, and they're dying off now. And we need to go with something that's, that's making a difference. And I believe green energy is the way to go. And what do you feel are the major barriers to making this transition? Uh, the old way of thinking, um, getting, educating the, the public and the people in charge of what's, what's out there and how it can really work, and the way it's really designed. I think there's an there's a old uh, state of mind there that um, needs to be changed. So it's not really the technology barriers, it's more the, the people's mindset. Yes. Yes, I, um, I think the technology is getting better and better every month. Matter of fact, I know it is. Uh, things that uh, were costing $11 a watt eight months ago, you can now do for like eight fifty a watt. Um, you know, things are coming down. Uh, it's making it more affordable for people. So the incentives need to be there for the people to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I see. Yeah, that's great. Um, do you feel that in order to, to make this transition to a clean energy-based economy that there's any one technology that's more important than other technologies? You know, I think everything has its place. I think we still need coal, and I feel like we still need uh, hydro and everything else. But I think a, a well-rounded uh, system would work better for us than just relying on one system. In your area, um, what are the biggest obstacles, like specifically in your area, that you've seen to adopting and accepting renewable energy? Um, Re-educating the people on what's coming, how to survive. I, I think that's the main. That is the main thing. Um, in your opinion, are, are the elected officials on the federal, state level, city level, any level that you want to address, um, are they doing all that they can to address this transition? Or are they doing kind of what's politically convenient and what's uh, necessary for them to stay in office? Uh, in my community, uh, I see the city and the county levels uh, stepping up and, and seeing what's out there and trying to get it to our communities. Um, I'm not really sure about the state and federal levels. I, I don't know enough about it to comment on that, but I'm learning. Mm -hmm. um, how has the fossil fuel industry helped and or hurt your community? Um, I, I don't know. I, th I think it's been there for a very long time. And uh, it's just getting so expensive that I'm watching uh, people changing to different kinds of energy situations because they can't afford to go out and feed their cattle, for instance. You know, they went from going and checking their cows every day to having to go every three or four days. Um, that could be a killer if you have a problem and you're not there to catch it because you can't afford to go out there and do it. I think fossil fuels is hurting the economy very bad right now. And do you feel that um, renewable energy can kind of come in and pick up that hurt that your community is feeling? Yes, I do because uh, we're installing solar stock tank pumps out there. It's getting um, people off the grid. Uh, they're, they're starting to be able to be more sustainable, be more self-reliant. That's what people like. They see that in green energy. I see that in green energy. And I see it helping the whole country in general. Mm -hmm. I really see it as we're going back to the way things used to be uh, out in the country. You see a lot of old uh, towers where wind generators used to be to charge some batteries out on a homestead. Um, then things changed and we went to the oil. Um, we're kind of, I think we're kind of going back to the basics. And the basics are, uh, are the renewable energy. Since 2007, the renewable energy business and jobs has grown like 50%. You know, that, that's, that's big. That's major. I think we need to bring it to everybody's community that, that wants to get in on it. So what are you doing personally in your area to, to try and push these policies and try and get people on board? Um, I do a lot of uh, work with the New Mexico Solar Association and uh, as much education as I can. You know, I went to uh, to your group, the New Energy Economy. The way that came about, someone brought me an email one day, said, you gotta check this out. I called and checked it out, and it was a bunch of people who wanna make things happen, and I, I, I think that people need to step up, and that's what I see happening. We've put together a town hall meeting where we're gonna have our PRC rep, 
uh, directors of insurance, transportation, the fire marshal there, uh, to address some of these questions and uh, things that we're seeing out there and why they have the mindset they do and what it's going to take to get them to understand where I believe things are going and I believe most of the country is starting to catch on. And I want to be ahead of the curve instead of be behind the curve. 